Okay guys, uh, this is just an update on my canard. If you remember, a couple of videos back, I uh, did not like the shape of the uh, wingtips that I had. And you saw me in the video uh, remove them and then I have made new canard tips. And uh, these, in my opinion, look significantly better uh, than what I had. The ones I had were uh, kind of kind of dull looking. So this is the uh, old tips right here. <clears throat> and like you say, they just were not that exciting. So that's the new tips. Looks much better, looks more uh, pleasing. And um, I have everything in. It all looks great. That's the underside. I still got to do the micro and stuff uh, at the ends here, but I'll do that whenever I finish the, the plane. <coughs> so the only thing left to do to canard is to uh, contour it. I need to, and again, that's done in finishing. I do want to make, um, I'm going to put a fairing right here between the fuselage and the uh, elevators so that there's a very small gap there to make that aerodynamic. You can see where I've drawn that. So basically I'm going to put a piece of foam in there, sand that down, and, and fiberglass that, then I will cut it. And that'll make for a really custom fairing. Okay, and uh, so this is the template that you use to make sure that you have the appropriate angle of attack on your canard. The uh, fuselage and wings are all perfectly level and uh, so you put your basically you put your your jig on there and you can see the bubble it's perfectly level there and this is the revised jig that was revised in 2001 also if you look when I'm at uh, when the elevator is flush with the tip here I'm at zero degrees here and that is another reason that I redid the tips. Uh, the old tips were not correctly in line. In fact, they were about four degrees up. And so I did not like that. So anyway, I'm real pleased with this uh, this look on the canard. So anyway, just another overshot of the plane. Things are coming along right now. I'm working on the uh, canopy just reading and studying and uh, doing preliminary fits on the canopy um, I'll put that in and then I'll start building the strakes I've already actually fiberglassed the bulkheads and ribs for the strakes I just didn't want to do that before I put the canopy and turtle deck on just so I could have access to this area in here as you can see it would be kind of hard to get to some of that stuff with the strakes already on there because they'll basically go from uh, the corner here up to about right here just in front of the instrument panel because I'm going to use the extended strakes so moving right along okay guys thanks for watching and hey thanks for that comment of uh, somebody catching me uh, because I forgot to do this update on the uh, on the canard so I'm glad somebody's actually watching my videos and I'm uh, hoping I'm actually helping somebody so anyway thanks for watching